Okay, so this is a fun little project you can do with your uh, King Kong ET-115. Um, I actually uh, built this out of the ET-115. You could probably adapt this for the ET-100 or the ET-125. I basically wanted to uh, get some HD video with the Runcam Split Mini uh, with the ET-115 here. Uh, using uh, basically very, very slow flight. So uh, if you want to capture some really tight um, proximity flying and some tight gaps, uh, this is kind of what I was kind of looking for. If you bump into something, you're not going to break any props or cause it to crash right away. You can take a, a few bumps uh, while you're flying slow. And I did see this. Um, I just had to mention that this part here is a modification of a part that I saw from another video. It wasn't on Thingiverse, so I can't put the link to the original Thingiverse file. Uh, it was uh, from another YouTube video. I'll put the link to the video. I got it from, uh, he posted it on his Dropbox. And, Grabbed that from there and I, mod I had it modified and uh, this is a modification of that one. Basically I just took that file and uh, made these legs here longer and thicker and more to the front so that the uh, ducks wouldn't be in view when you're flying, uh, getting capturing the HD video with the Rencam Split Mini. Um, but otherwise it's pretty much uh, an ET-115 here. I just took the canopy off and that with the camera. So the canopy and the camera came off of here. It's got that plug. And then I had to, uh, that plug on the other side went to the video transmitter, which is on the bottom. And I just pulled the battery out. So the video transmitter has a plug on here that I actually switched out for a different plug uh, that would work with the Runcam Split Mini. This is actually basically the reverse plug. And uh, the current uh, power that was, uh, that was uh, coming out of that plug was uh, 4.2 volt, I think, because it was a 4.2 volt pad on this video transmitter. And I just moved it over to the pad that was right next to it, which was the VBAT pad. So there's a, a VBAT pass through. So the battery connector here is actually passing through to the video transmitter. So the video transmitter is powered by VBAT power. And then uh, there is a pad here that I uh, soldered the uh, positive to. From the, I moved it over from the 4.4 to the uh, VBAT. And that's how that camera is being powered. It's being powered by VBAT. It's pretty clean video, surprisingly. And then I left the uh, video and the ground the same as before. And that just runs up here to this little plug that you can see right there. And then the uh, split mini with the other end of the plug is attached to this little 3D printer part. And then I'm using these uh, 30 millimeter uh, M3 standoffs that go uh, to these three points here. And if you guys are observant, you'll probably realize that it's basically been reversed. So this used to be the front. So if you look at the where the camera is here and where the three screws here that we're holding the canopy on before this is in the front and now it's in the back according to this design so what i had to do is in order to do this uh, i thought the simpler way was just to uh, take all the guards off motors off and then the flight controller stack and then i just flip the frame around 180 degrees so the front is the back and the back is the front and then I just screwed the motors back on down. That way not to mess with any electronics or moving the power plug around or anything like that. It's just, it's just simple that way. And a lot, you have to just unscrew all four motors and the, the hoops and everything. And the and then the, uh, you have to unscrew the stack. And then you just rotate it 180 degrees and screw everything back on again. And then you should be good to go. Um, for the standoffs, you could probably get away with 25 millimeter standoffs. You can see there's a fairly decent gap there between the receiver and the uh, split mini. Um, so if you don't want to use, you want to go lower this down a little bit, you could probably do that and get away with a 25 millimeter standoff instead of a 30 millimeter standoff. I just happen to have these lying around, and for with the kind of flying I was doing, it didn't really matter. I was flying really slow. So um, the reason I kind of went with this project is I was kind of inspired by some of the videos I saw from. Shen drones, I think he had a three inch micro with some pretty big uh, prop guards and he was actually running like a GoPro on top of actually a really big GoPro. And so he's uh, kind of flying that around slow, capturing an HD video. Like, oh, this might be interesting to do with something a little bit smaller like this one here. Like we might even do this with the ET100. But I figured the uh, 2.3 inch props is probably the lowest you'll want to go on this setup on 2S. It's fairly underpowered, but you're flying slow anyway. You're not really doing tricks or anything like that, so it should be okay for this. Anyway, um, links to the files and everything, all that down below. Um, yeah, if you're a builder like me, you ought to be able to figure this out. It's not that difficult. 
Um, but if you're a beginner, this might be pretty challenging, I would think. You might be really confused. Uh, this project is probably not for you. Um, there's going to be other options out there, like the uh, IH2 video that I did uh, a couple days ago. Um, you can just put the prop guards in that one and fly that around. It's pretty much pre-built. It has a split mini version 2 on it. Uh, something like that might be better for you. But if you have, happen to have an ET-115 or like a 100 or 125, lying around and want to do this project this is not that darn hard to do that's uh, pretty easy mod with a 3d printer part anyway guys i'll show you some flight demo footage of this as i'm uh, flying at the park if you guys have any questions let me know and i'll talk to you guys in the next one